He said, you know what? Why don't you go try it out? I was like, eh, do I really want to go bag groceries all day? No. Well, they brought me, wait, am I still talking about? Yeah. Am I being, okay, it. cool. I'm just making sure I'm like, wait a minute. Am I going to the next question? Yeah. There's that same camaraderie that has to exist if you're going to be a team. The giant philosophy was people, people, people. All right, let's do it. Well, my name is Corey Bibbins. I'm a customer service manager for Giant Food over in Ashburn, Virginia. Started with the company in 2017. Well, my background is a very complex one. I'm originally from Annapolis, Maryland. That's where I was born. I was raised there for the majority of my life. I am a mixed culture. My dad is black and Filipino. My mother is white and Thai. So I have a little bit of everything in there. My parents, unfortunately, my parents got divorced when I was younger and I ended up with my mother. You know, me and my stepfather just really didn't get along. And unfortunately, she, you know, asked me to leave. And then I had to move to my father's the saying, the grass is always greener on the other side, I thought that was the case. And then as I grew up, I started to realize I was different. Of course, when I was younger, I played sports, I had girlfriends, everything was, you know, the American dream for my father. Until I said, you know what, this is not the life for me. I, you know, I'm not what he wants me to be. And when I sat down with him and I finally came out to him, he was like, no, there's no room for that here. I don't believe it, I don't support it. And I, I don't want you here. At 17, I'm like, what do I do? Just finishing high school, no car. Looked at one of my friends and said, hey, think I can live with you? Packed my one bag I had, moved 90 miles to Virginia, and I was like, well, now I really need a job because it's time to be an adult. Started cashiering again. They were like, do you want to go behind the customer service desk? I was like, not really, but let's go for it. Did that for a couple of months. They looked at me and I said, I want to do more. Give me something that I can take some authority and responsibility and put more on my plate. Let's make you an assistant front end manager. Did that for a couple years, really breezed through it, and then I was like, you know what? I still want more. And that's my methodology. I can always go bigger and better, because you know? Then they came with this opportunity for Giant Pickup and they were like, we're doing something new, something that Giants never thought of. How would you feel about running it for our store? I said, you know what? Let's do it and then we ended up building it to one of the busiest ones in the entire company. Then I said to myself, what's next? Let's go for department manager. Still said to myself, I think I can do more than that. How about being a CSM? And now I am what I am. Basically, the weight is on me. You know, as a CSM, I'm now the assistant store manager of my store. It's great that I'm here at 22 and that I'm even given this opportunity to lead an entire store. But to me, it's just me doing what I feel like I was born to do, which is serve the public and provide the best service that I can as a person. It's like I said in the beginning, it's a real tough one with not being accepted by my family and kind of having to find the ropes on my own. It wasn't until I started working with Giant that I found out that Giant was part of the Pride community and it's what gave me a new beginning. I'm really passionate about my job with Giant because when I was in a hole looking at nothing. I found Giant and they've given me so many opportunities to grow and succeed and build a future, starting with pride and becoming store management. It allows me to help others and especially in this time right now we have to look out for each other even if we don't know each other. Otherwise we're never going to succeed as a whole. Plus the fact is I like money so and I have a very expensive taste. Bougie on a budget, you know what I mean? So. Am I happy with my childhood and how I was brought up? No, I never will be. But I'm grateful that those experiences led me to the amount of success that I've gotten today.